What the Royal Navy is getting in the uh, daring class of destroyers is the world's most advanced anti-air warfare destroyer. This is a very, very significant moment for the MOD, the last of the, uh, the six ships of the Type 45 class. It's been a long journey, we've had our problems along the way, but what has been really satisfying is that the last um, three or four years in particular have gone so smoothly and delivered such a fantastic ship, bang on the schedule that we agreed um, just over three years ago, and in fact for a reduction in the, the cost estimate at the time. It is a fantastic moment, and I think not just for BA, but for the MOD, for the Navy, uh, for all our suppliers and supporters who've helped this program go on. And there's still a long way to go for these ships to be delivered, but a you know, very successful program for everybody. The, this program has met every milestone, achieved everything it's set out to do, and that's through joint working. It's not through the company doing it on its own. It's through joint work teams working together in partnership and in true partnership. Well, I, I really do want to congratulate everyone involved in, in, in bringing this programme to a successful and, uh, conclusion. Not quite finished yet, she's got to get into service yet, but I, I know that'll be achieved on date, I'm, I'm confident of that. Uh, it, I really, everyone involved, from, 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 from DNS, from, from MOD main building, from, from here at the shipyard actually doing the construction, everyone involved, all the suppliers, uh, I think have done a great job, and uh, you can see the capability of these vessels, the first in class is now in service and doing a great job, uh, and, and this, one will, this one will as well, I know. The great thing about Type 45 is it's an immensely capable ship. Some people say, I mean, it's difficult to quantify these things, perhaps four times more capable than the Type 42 is before it, uh, with twice the size, half the crew, so very efficient as well. Um, and of course the great thing about it is air defence capability is, is really important, but it's also immensely versatile, flexible, adaptable for the future. We know that threats change all the time in the modern world. This ship has the capability to adapt to those threats in the future, as well as coping with anything the world can throw at it at present. And of course the Ministry of Defence itself. A huge UK and international supply chain. For many years to come, they will provide four acres of sovereign British territory. You've been up for All of the Royal Navy ships in the surface combatant uh, arena have multiple roles, so this can be used everything from taking embarked military forces like Royal Marines all the way through the range of tasks, even to humanitarian assistance and to counter piracy, as well as its main warfighting task in anti-air warfare.